We are at a flea market in Sarasota. Chris is on call, so we're going to go to the beach later on. But we're checking this place out. And so far, I got some tools. I'll show them to you in a minute. There's some fishing stuff. Let's look at that. All right, this was my haul for 10 bucks. I got three snaps of various kinds. I got this cool pie bar thing that has funky angles and a pair of side cutters and these things. So not too shabby for 10 bucks for all of it. Here we go. Here we are at the first of several thrift stores. Now don't get the wrong idea. I am not a shopper, like I really kind of detest shopping in general, but um, livestock sale barns and thrift stores and flea markets are kind of more of a treasure hunt kind of thing, like I was doing at the beach, only the city version. <laughs> so we're going to go in a couple of these and then we're going to the beach, like shopping all day is not happening, ever, never, not my world. <laughs> So here's what I got the first thrift store we went in. I got some uh, eating utensils for the 65 boat. And I got some equally hideous pillows for the 65 boat. <laughs> Look at them. They're terrible. But it's going to be perfect for in that boat. Like you have to go with the character of what you're dealing with. And that's what I'm dealing with. But it's going to be cool. Just you wait. But these by themselves are hideous. Another stuff I got I'm not showing you because it's for Angie. And Angie might watch this. So it's a secret. This is a vintage something store. I don't even know what. But I'm just along for the ride. But this is pretty nifty. Yeah, that's awesome. I love the fins on it. <laughs> Here's the other side. This is an amazing shape. Hope I'm not creeping anybody out looking at it so close. But that is awesome. Love it. Oh, well that explains it. It's called Can Ham Vintage and those campers are called Can Hams, I think. Pretty sure that's right. So, in we go. Holy cow, look what I found. What are the chances of that? Actually, I didn't find it. Jenny and Chris did and call me over. But is that not phenomenal? Except ours isn't going to be metal. It's going to be like the real deal. But this is what we're going after. Pretty cool. I don't see a price on it. Oh, yeah, I do. Holy cow, $275. Ours was roadkill free, plus four boxes of borax and a little bit of time. I work pretty cheap, but it's stuff I'm interested in. <laughs> I do not need a skirt, but I really, really like this one. Isn't it funky? And that's not all, there's a bunch of them. Funky, funky skirts and other such things. I mean, look at this place to go for funky clothes from the 70s and beyond. Just wow. There's some pants for you. And that groovy orange suitcase. Check that out. I like this purple suede vest. Look at that with beads everywhere. 
Well, purple vest I liked was $145, and that just isn't happening ever. So we're going to Goodwill. That's on our speed. <laughs> ba la la makes me want to sing a chipmunk song. But I'll spare you. <laughs> You're welcome. We all have our chairs of choice. And here's mine. Found elf slippers to go with the pants. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Check out what Chris got at the thrift store. I just learned about it. It's an Iron Man helicopter and it actually flies. What the heck? You have to put your hand under it for it to fly. Oh, so it has something to push up against. You have to put your hand or something under it for it to fly. Robin, That's pretty fly. damn cool. <laughs> <laughs> we are done with the thrift store treasure hunt, and this is what I found. Okay, so I already showed you my cool tools, and I think I showed you this awful but wonderful silverware for my 65 houseboat tiny home. And I think I forgot to show you this knife because I stuck it in my purse. But I think it's for grapefruit. But whatever. I just think it's cool. And then at a different thrift store, I found these plates with a bamboo that goes with the bamboo. And, yeah, they're just going to be perfect. So, I got them from the table and this horrible yellow rug from the bathroom. And these frog canisters. They're dated 1971. So, it's definitely the right time frame. For the 65 boat like that's not a huge stretch and then I got some clothes I really don't need but I thought they were cool and I did and the sweaters actual alpaca which is nice and soft and warm and nobody in Florida needs it so we can go back to Missouri and then this cool clock with the parrots and it has some bamboo themed stuff on it too so it's going to coordinate really well and those awful pillows don't look quite as awful up against things that they match although these other curtains are probably going to go in the 95 boat 94 boat I keep saying 95 the motors 95 the boats 94 and these bowls not sure which boat they're going in or they might just go in my dang house like the actual house not a house boat and I found all these beaded critters which will be great pretty much anywhere I put them. I like them very much. And the blue is a sundress. Which I don't really need, but whatever. And this cool beaded lamp. I'll put one of those fake candles in it because I don't need wax everywhere. But you know where that's going. 94 houseboat. Bedroom shelf. Another little storage trunk with 3D flowers and all kind of bling on it. like That's just pretty cool. And elf slippers because <laughs> I like costumes and this will go great in one of my Christmassy kind of costume things. I like to, <laughs> this is embarrassing to admit, but I do kind of like to wear like different funky weird Christmas stuff the week of. Or the week after, or whenever. It doesn't even have to be that time of year. Like, I feel like being an elf, I'm going to be one. So, <laughs> they're comfy. Might even wear them tonight. Alright, well, that's what I did at the thrift store today. It's going to be fun to get all this in the van on the way home, but it'll happen. Once it to happen bad enough, it's going to happen and make it fit. Oh, this doesn't count the stuff I got for other people. So, yeah, there's more, but you're not seeing it because other people who it's for might see it. And then that would kind of ruin the surprise. And I just got told that we're going to go see alligators and get ice cream. So, I'm out of here. You know what that is? Alligator eyeballs. Too bad there's not a roadkill around here. Mm. You just throw it on in there.
There's one cruising across the river. And there's one who just came out from under the bridge. This would not be the greatest place to go kayaking. It's just a great place to see gators and it doesn't cost a cent. Not one cent. You just drive your car and park by the bridge and go look. It's awesome. There's always gators here. And almost never people. That's pretty awesome too. You don't have to deal with crowds of people. None of it. You just come and look. I think he's going to win the staring contest. So we have seen at least 10 distinct different alligators in the short amount of time we have been here. We know that there's at least 10 because we saw those 10 all at once. Seven on one side of the bridge and three on the other. There's four of them, all right there. Look at that, this one's cruising pretty good. He's big too. Definitely don't want to fall in now. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them right here by the bridge. Two of them are really pretty big. Definitely highly recommend this place. Like, this is awesome. If there was a roadkill around here, it'd be even better, but, you know, you just make adjustments. One. Two. Three, four. Five. Six. all at once on one side of the bridge. Seeing the alligators is awesome. And the sunset isn't bad either. Alright, I heard somebody say ice cream. Catch you later. This is the place, Jeremiah's Italian Ice, Gelato, and Soft Serve Ice Cream in Yum. I think it's Black Raspberry Gelato, is that correct, yeah. Jen? Black with Raspberry Italian Ice. Italian Ice, ice. I can't get it right. With soft serve ice cream. With soft serve ice cream. Anyway, it looks marvelous. I'm going to shut up and eat it. And Jenny got what the uh, heck is lemon, that? coconut, meringue pie, I think. It's delicious. Yay. Thank you. Lemon and
And Chris, Chris got a scoop froggy frog with chocolate soft serve. Holy cow. Scoop froggy <laughs> frog is mint chocolate chip. All right. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>